Hey, 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 everybody, what is up? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What I want to do today is something for the newer players. A lot of this stuff has been geared towards the newer players recently. Sorry to those of you who are more experienced. Um, what I want to do today is go over sort of the diff, like some good areas to hunt, okay, as a new player. Not, not looking for profit, but just as someone who's new to the game and still want, wants to get the hang of it, right? They don't know where to go. So I want to help you do that. And the other thing I want to do is uh, explain the difference between different types of mo mobs. So, for instance, um, I think like a puny versus like a larger mob, okay? Uh, so, first off, as far as places that go to hunt, what you really want to do is look at uh, the mobs in the area, not the specific area. One good one, I think most people know this, would be right here in Camp Icarus. So, Camp Icarus is actually like a, it's a cool place to go, right? When you're new, this is where I did my first like 20 PED hunting video. When you're new, you can come out here and kill pretty much anything. I'm going to do just that right here, assuming the gun loads. I could have sworn I bought the gun. There we go. Um, oh, well. I did buy the gun, let it load. There we go. All right. Uh, yep, let's equip it. So we've got our gun ready. We've got the auto fire equipped. And then we can just go in and attack any of these. Like when you see these uh, bursicle, I think that's what they're called, puny. That's a pretty easy one to kill. They do give some good loot too. So it's, uh, it's not a bad deal. It's like you can see, you're, you're getting some loot from. Now, one question that you guys asked, I'm going to be showing the different areas as we go. Um, but one, one other question that was asked was what's the difference between like a puny mob and a large? Okay. So the big difference there is really going to be what it takes to kill them, how much damage they can do, and the potential for looting a high, a higher end item. By the way, Carter, Gautis, whatever these are called, another great one to hunt if you're new. Always go after level 1 puny mobs, okay? So what I was saying is the difference between a puny and a large would be a puny has a really good chance of just looting this stuff, right? Because you're not, you're not spending as much per kill, so it's not dropping as much per kill. And a lot of the time when you're looting a weapon or something like that, that has a higher TT. Just like the lowest it can be at drop might be 30, 30 PEDs, right? So if you're doing normal mobs or large mobs, your average loot might be 30 PEDs a kill. So you're more likely to get that rare item. Whereas if you're hunting these things where your average loot's going to be like PEC a kill, however many PEC a kill your chances of getting something big are less just because it's not that likely to drop a big loot. Is it possible for me to shoot that creature right there and get 400 PEDs and a ton of cool items and everything that I could get if I was hunting a super large mob? Yes, it is possible. It's just less likely. The higher up the mob is as far as levels go, the more likely it is that you're going to get something cool out of it. Something cool means something with markup, okay? This is when those items are higher TT. Or, yeah, higher TT value, like the minimum value is higher. So this would be like your guns, your armor, your L weapons, everything like that. If you're looking for a certain item, so maybe there's, uh, I don't have anything here, but let's say like muscle oil has a decent markup. You're going to get that with anything because it's a, like one of them is worth very little. So three PEC, I think that's for one, yeah. So one muscle oil is three PEC, so it's very easy for you to get that in any type of loot. Um, so, so that's really the big difference. It's the only one I can think of. Now let's uh, let's try some other areas, okay? We're gonna try Port, Port Atlantis. Um, I don't know how many people would rec recommend this, but Port Atlantis is a good place to hunt if you're new. Again, when you're new, you're just looking for those puny animals, and there's there's a few different spots with some. Um, let's. Uh, see what we've got to offer here. I used to go to Port Atlantis to hunt all the time when I was new, but that was before the map got rearranged, so I'm pretty sure it's still good. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, I, I'll, I'll show some other areas, too. Don't worry, guys. There's going to be a ton of information in here. I don't know how long this video is going to go. I'm trying. I'm going to try not to make it too long. You might end up... This might be like a 15 to 20 minute investment here, but uh, a few of you guys have been asking questions. I figured... Instead of doing one video for everything, I'm going to do a video that just gets all these hunting questions out of the way. So, like, it's going to give you some areas to hunt 
and we're going to be talking about the different types of mobs and all that. So I was just saying, like, puny versus large, puny versus whatever, the largest type of mob, okay? I don't think large is a name for it. It's, like, gigantic or something, right? The big difference is the loot that you're going to get, how much damage they can do to you, how much damage it takes to kill them, and uh, basically the bigger the mob is, the harder it's going to be to kill. You can also do that with the levels, okay? So we are hunting level 1. These are level... Oh, that's a pet, isn't it? No. Oh, no, 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 sorry. The heart just means it's tameable. It's like, this is a level one, right? Let's see how easy it is to kill. It's not as easy just because that mob is not as easy, right? But still, like, fairly low level, pretty easy to kill. It's, it's uh, again, it's, like, not a bad place for a new person to go. It's a different type of mob. So if you get tired of hunting at Camp Icarus, just head out to, uh, to around um, Port Atlantis. There's plenty of stuff here to hunt. Not all guaranteed to loot, we just had no loot there, but uh, you, you guys can see, like I'm going through them, I'm having no problem, these are pups, uh, I guess pups more like puny too, there is a list online, um, I'll look down in the comments, I'm going to post a link to a great source where you can look up mobs, see what they're likely to loot, and um, just see the different levels, how much health they have and everything like that, because there are some that you're either never going to find a puny level 1, or if you do, it's probably going to be a little bit harder to kill. So you might not want to go after it. So let's uh, head back and check out the next area. You can see I got some animal hide there. That's something with a little bit of a markup. And again, that comes with any of them. Puny through to large. Doesn't matter. But as I said, if you're looking for those big loots, you've got to spend big. And when you spend big, you have a better chance of winning big. Um, and as always, like as I stress in a lot of my videos, markup is king. So you're going for the big markup items. There's only certain mobs you can do that on. Um, Arulai, I think that's what they're called, on Crystal Palace are really good for that. But you've got to be very, very high level to hunt those. I've done it with teams before. You can make it happen, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. So uh, hold off for that. All right, now let's. Some of you guys were asking like where to hunt. If you're new, anywhere in this area, right around here, is going to be pretty good. The closer you are to Port Atlantis, where I'm at right now, the better off you're going to be because this is like the newbie area. This is where you're dropped off. This is where they put everything that you guys can kill. Very convenient. I like it because it gives you a chance to like experience some of the lower level stuff before you get out and really get your ass kicked. Like I. I if you really go out to like some of these dan more dangerous areas, like go around here, you're just gonna get destroyed. And if they spawned, if they started you off in an area like that, you'd hate the game. I guarantee it. So now let's go to a different area. Maybe you want to change a pace, right? Check out Cape Corinth. This is another one that I'd recommend. If you notice, they're all on the same continent. I'm just doing that because this is where I know better, and I know there's a lot of level one stuff here. Now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you're going to find a lot of landowners or, um, you know, a lot of places really uh, pushing to have level one creatures. Just because the hunters that spend a lot of money and loot a lot are interested in the high level, hard to kill mobs. And those are not going to be your puny mobs. So, like, some of the cooler stuff, some of the cooler videos that you see, you've either got to get in a team or get really skilled to do that. Um, that's just how it is. And we can go over the hard to kill stuff, but that's just going to be a video of me dying because I don't have enough skills. So these are easy videos for me to make. Um, so I think I've given you guys three areas, like, to hunt at and, uh, a few different mob types. Basically anything that's level one you can go for. Level one, level two, yeah, you, you'll probably be pretty good. Some of them might kick your ass, but if you're in that beginner area, you should be good. And you're going to know, like, you shoot a mob once and it destroys you, you know there's no chance you're going to be able to kill it. So, you just give up. I mean, unless you're sadistic. Alright, so this might be a little bit harder to do. I'm going to try to do a Hiru Young. This is a level 7, so this is a good example of differences in the levels, right? These are both, like, this is a Young, so it's sort of like a puny, I think. Not quite, but sort of. So let's see, uh, what is this? Oh, here we've got a level 1 Bristlehog. Let's kill that first so it doesn't interfere. Because I don't want to be attacked by two things because that might throw this off. I mean, the fact that I have a higher level of aid and all that does throw this off too, but two, two mobs attacking you, you're going to die a lot faster. All right, so let's kill this thing, right? 
Do I have enough range on this gun to do it? Really? Alright. So this one doesn't work. Oops. The gun does not shoot high enough to kill that. I did not know that. I think that's it, because it, it was not locking on. Um, generally, that means there's an issue with the gun. But as you can see, like this is another great area. Again, you're killing bristle hogs. If you go farther up, there's going to be some different ones. So actually, let's just go ahead and do it. This might be the last area I can show you. I don't really know of any other good areas for newbie. Oh, no, I do, actually. This is not the last area I show you. So actually, let's, uh, for the sake of time, there's some cooler stuff up north that you can hunt too. Again, though, bristle hogs. Anywhere you spawn and you see level one stuff, you're pretty safe. Um, generally, in the game, a lot of the low level stuff is grouped together, while the high level stuff is grouped together. So, if you, if you if you get hit by a high level mob, there's probably not a low level mob hiding inside that. And if there is, it's uh, I don't know. It's rare. It's rare. Generally, if you see low-level mobs, it means you're in a low-level area. So just think of like any any traditional MMO. Like if you take the old Fallout, it was like where you started was the easiest, and as you went like north and east or something, or no, south and west, south and east, whatever it was. As you went a certain direction, it got harder and harder. Calypso, oh, sorry, Entropia Universe doesn't quite work like that. I can speak specifically for Calypso, the planet. There's areas that are hard, there's areas that are easy. It's based around the teleporter. So if you're in range of like Port Atlantis, um, like any of those areas I pointed out, you're pretty good, you're pretty safe. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I'm gonna show you a few of the other ones though. They're you know, semi-decent areas, give you guys a few little options to kill. Maybe you wanna change it up, try something different and all that. Hopefully this'll do it. And for those, I know, uh, forget who it was one of you one of you really wanted me to describe like puny versus like large and all that and that's the best description i can give if you've got any questions ask me but like i said it's not um it's not a huge difference it's really just a harder mob a harder level of that mob you can loot the same things but your chances of looting something good are way higher with the higher level with the higher ranked mobs or level mobs now let me see if i can find what i'm looking for i don't know if this is gonna work so this used to be a big place. I don't uh, know. Nia's isn't good. I'm trying to think of where... Um, there's a sweating area. I've pointed it out before. I'm just drawing a blank right now. That's really good. This is... Yeah, these are way too high level. Ignore that. Level 25. Although that might be good. Nah. You guys are just going to have to trust me. That uh, if you go to a high level place, you're going to get your shit rocked. Or if you attack a high-level mob, you're going to get in trouble. So where do we have it? Hold on, I'll find this. I think it may be here. Yeah. Let's go here. So once you've got some experience with the level 1s, you've gone to those three areas I've pointed out. You're destroying everything. And you feel like you're ready to move up to something a little bit harder. We have these guys, right? Oh, that was awkward. A little bit of lag. So these are level three. Like you have some better, higher level spawns, right? You've got like a level seven here, a level three. You've got mature, old. Um, we're we're gonna take it on. You guys will see how it goes. This is also where a lot of people come to sweat. So if you're new, like you can always feel free to ask questions. But as you can see, like this is going to be a harder battle. Like, look at that. I've got to walk backwards. I'm not doing as much damage. It's doing more damage to me. You're going to notice a difference here. So, like, if you're new and you're doing this, your chances of dying here are higher. But if you want to challenge, this is it. This is where you can test it. This is where you need those critical hits. This is where you need to walk backwards. This is where you need to learn everything that hopefully you've learned from my videos and from your own experience. And obviously like later on you can go into like armor you can get more skilled so like i'm more likely to dodge these hits than you will be so it's going to be harder for you to do make sure you don't walk into the yellows the red dots because that could be bad and there you go i just looted it but look at how much damage it did there it did maybe like 
a fourth of the damage to my health. I'm not wearing armor or anything like that, but it did like one fourth damage. It took way more shots to kill, and it was it was a little bit of a tougher kill. So this is a good place to start focusing yourself. You're still not focusing, but working on your techniques and really seeing if you can kill something that's a higher level. Like mature you can do, right? Or mature I could do with that gun. So now maybe you want to try like old. Let's see if we can find one of those. Ah, uh, they're all mature in here. Here we go. We've got an old. So this one's going to be a little bit harder. I think... Is someone attacking me? Oh, shit. And uh, these things do have a little bit more aggro, which means they're more likely to attack you. So watch out for that. I should have mentioned that I forgot to. Luckily, this guy here that I'm not shooting was kind enough to attack me and remind me of uh, that. So now try not to drag your stuff into this group of green people here. They're, gonna, they're not going to be happy because they're all there sweating. They're trying to uh, make some money. They're trying to get some cash so that they can start hunting. And uh, here you come, dragging a mob in. You're, you might die. Look at this. I'm probably going to die in this. I'm probably going to die. Right? It's looking iffy. Do you think I'll make it, guys? Uh, maybe I won't because this, this, I'm getting too close to that red dot. He might attack me. This might not work. Do we have it? What do you guys think? I think I can do it. If I get cr if the, he crits me though, I'm dead. There we go, and we got it. But you saw that like a harder kill, and uh, you, you get a few more things, a few more interesting things, right? You get this. It's got a little bit of a markup to it, not much. Just because the item's worth more does not mean it's going to have a huge markup. Some of the items are worth a little bit less, but they give you a nice markup. And if you keep hunting the same mob, you're going to get a lot of these, and you can sell them on auction. I don't have a lot right now because I do not hunt the same mob, which is a bad thing. You know, you should focus on one, meet your missions, get your goals, and move on to the next. But that's, that's just not how I roll, guys. That's not how I roll. So... I guess that's it. Like, I gave you four hunting locations that are pretty good for newbies. I gave you three that are real, real easy to do. Real, like, green. Then this is more of, like, your medium, like, novice level. Like, you sort of know what's going on. You could manage. You might have a, a Vivo to heal yourself or the, um, the unlimited healing Vivo, which uh, I don't have. Because I did not do the mission. I should do the mission. Um, but you're going to have some cool equipment. You're going to be able to use it a little bit better. This is when you're going to come here. And after that, you've really got to go exploring. Check out some of my videos where I do hunting. You can see where I'm hunting different level creatures. I usually hunt low because I'm not that great with the armor. But uh, I don't know. It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys where you hunt. But you can watch my videos, my hunting videos, and get an idea. It would take me way too long to go through all of this and what each spawn has. If you're interested in a specific animal, again, check out that link below. In Tropedia, it's got a ton of information. I really recommend you guys visit it. So that would be my closing thought. Visit in Tropedia, check out the mobs you want to hunt, find the low-level mobs, find the ones that you can do damage to, you know, reasonably kill, um, and then go for it. And when you're thinking reasonably kill, look at how much damage they do, and consider you need to be able to take maybe like I'd say you need to be ta able to take maybe 20 hits from that mob and survive, okay? Then you want to look at how much damage you can do. You want to look at how fast that mob attacks and all that. Like, you get a general idea. If that mob's hitting you for, like, 10 damage and you're only doing 2 and you guys are hitting at the same speed, you're going to lose that battle, probably. Again, depends on HP and a lot of things, but you'll get the hang of it and it's a really hard concept to explain so i just gave you some areas to check out check those areas out check out entropypedia check out the stats check out what you can loot realize that you're missing out on some of that potential because you're not hunting the highest level mobs and keep upgrading like everybody else in the game we've all done this we've all been there we've all been new we've all been thinking like wow before they never used to have levels then you just have to hunt mobs and upgrade for mobs but before that after that right we were all hunting those like puny mobs, like, oh, it's a lot easier now to kill Aatrox. And then you realize you're not getting all the cool shit. So you've got to go after the big ones. And uh, if you're hunting, the big ones are the best ones to go for. That's what they all say, right? I don't know. Anyways, um, the big ones are the best. Check out Entropedia. And uh, hopefully I give you guys some uh, legit spots. Let me know what you think of the video. If you can, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, until next time.
Peace.